السلام علیکم آل کافی انفارچونیٹ ہے دیٹ وی آر ان ایبل ٹو سی ایچ ادر اینڈ آئی کین ناٹ ٹیچ یو پراپرلی ان کلاسز بٹ وٹ ایور دا سین از وی ہیو ٹو فائنڈ اے وے آؤٹ سو ایز یو نو دیٹ ایوری اسکول ہیز ڈسائڈیڈ ٹو گو آن ود آن لائن ٹیچنگز اینڈ آل سو sometimes i think that uh, you people cannot catch up with the time so it is a good idea to record my videos and uh, share it with you people so anyways so let us start uh, today's uh, lecture is about sound i'm trying to complete all those topics which uh, we could not uh, do but thank god that uh, as my strategy work the best that all the tough topics we should do first and lighter and other topics we should do towards the end so mostly we have done everything these are just uh, trailing or leading chapters which are short in size and easier to understand i am going to teach you online so anyways best of luck with your um, studies whatever the questions we can discuss in groups or uh, i'm going to post this video over uh, youtube so you can ask there or maybe over you know facebook groups or whatever our whatsapp groups jahan pe jis tarike se bhi aap better samjhe you should ask questions but please do study and study on time so what i'm going to teach you today is uh, this 1.1.3 sound which includes show understanding of how sound is represented and encoded use the associated terminology sampling sampling rate sampling resolution show understanding of how file size depend on sampling rate and sampling resolution and then we will see what we can do with this as well so let us start uh sound files are actually hold on sound requires a medium in which to travel through it cannot travel in vacuum this is because it is transmitted by causing oscillations of particles within the medium the human ear uh, picks up these oscillations change in the ear pressure and interprets them as sound each sound wave has a frequency and wavelength the amplitude specifies the loudness of the sound so let's say hold on for a bit so our chapter is 1.1.3 so what i was uh, trying to tell that uh, let's say we have this as uh, pressure or amplitude over here let's take it as pressure uh, 
and then we have time let's say this is time and then we have high frequency waves Now, let's say this wave starts from this point. And goes this way. So the period between two is less because of its high frequency. On contrary, if we take uh, another low frequency wave, so Let's say this is pressure, this is time, and this is low frequency wave. So the distance the period will be higher. Sound, this is analog sound, okay? This is analog sound. Sound, uh, we can suppose that uh, sound is an analog value. This needs to be digitized in order to store sound in computer. So we can say that uh, sound is analog. Computer is digital. Analog is something like this. Digital is something like this. Analog is natural. And digital is binary. And digital is binary and natural is continuous, whereas uh, digital is discrete. So what I'm trying to tell over here is uh, Analog and digital, these are two different worlds. And we have to have a way to actually have a conversion between them. So this conversion 
is actually called uh, digitization and it is done using analog to digital converter analog to digital converter in our case here to convert sound from analog form to digital form this is sound card get it sound card computer so now what I was trying to tell that uh, sound is an analog value this needs to be digitized in order to store sound in computer okay this is done using analog to digital converter if the sound is to be used as a music file it is often filtered first to remove higher frequencies um, and lower frequencies which are outside the range of human hearing sometimes we call it um, compression to convert the analog data to digital form the sound waves are sampled at a given time rate so now let's see what is sampling the amplitude of the sound cannot be measured precisely so approximate uh, values are taken now let's say here is another example So now it's no more taking us pressure because it is being digitized. We take it uh, as uh, amplitude, sound amplitude. And uh, like we will use it like a scale Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So this is sound. Now we have to capture this sound with fixed time intervals because computer is discrete. It cannot capture the sound continuously. So this is discrete. So after sometimes, let's say computer starts taking samples. Let's say these are time intervals. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So let's say this is one second and computer is taking 12 samples now we need to understand that these samples are actually recordings hold on First sample is taken, second sample is taken, third sample is taken. Regardless if they seem equal sized or not, they are equal. These all are the samples taken by the computer in 
one second. Do not think that these are being taken as a slice. Rather, these recordings are being done at these points where the sample is crossing the sound. See, just this, not anything else. All the sound which could not be um, recorded is lost. All the sound which could not be recorded is lost. So all this area here, this is lost, this is lost, this is all lost. So only way to have more sound captured per second is to have more data captured per second. So now there are a few terms related as it was shown um, in syllabus as well. So let's uh, try to understand what these terminologies are. The first one is bit depth. So bit depth. So what is bit depth? Bit depth is also called sampling resolution. So number of bits used to represent uh, the smallest unit in sound. For example, this one is zero. This one is four. This one is eight. This one is zero. This one is eight. This one is three. This one is uh, six, maybe this one is six, this one is one, this one may be nine. So a number is being uh, recorded in every sample. The size, the number of bits per sample is bit depth or sampling resolution. A sound uh, file the larger the bit depth, the better the quality of the sound or, um, file. So what is uh, sampling resolution or bit depth? Number of bits used to represent sound. Amplitude, also known as uh, sampling resolution or bit depth, whatever. So the second terminology is um, sampling rate. So sampling rate. Sampling rate is uh, the number of samples taken in one unit of time. Number of sound samples taken per second. So this is called sampling rate. So what is the sampling rate of uh, this diagram? This is 12 because 12 samples were taken in one second, which is one unit of time. Now, what is a sample? One recording, this one, which is zero, this one is four, this one is seven or eight, this is called one sample. So number of samples taken per second is sampling rate and the number of bits used to store that sample is called bit depth. So now, in this figure, 
uh, we have a sound wave. The x axis shows um, the time interval when the sound was sampled 0 to 12, and the y axis shows the amplitude of the um, sound, the amplitude uh, um, above 9 and below uh, 0 are filtered in this example. Now, A time interval uh, one, the approximation amplitude is uh, four. Uh, I told you that these um, amplitudes cannot be recorded uh, perfectly, so these all are um, approximated. Because the amplitude range uh, is zero to nine, um, four bits can be used to represent uh, each amplitude value, four bits. For example, nine would be represented by binary value, one double zero, one. So bit depth will be, let's say, this one is saved as zero, 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 zero. This one is saved as one, zero, zero, zero. This one is saved as one, 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 two, four, seven, and so on and so forth. So these number of bits are called bit depth. Achha, increasing the number of possible values used to represent sound amplitude uh, also increases the accuracy of sample sound. Obviously, for example, using a range of zero to um, 127 instead of zero to nine, uh, would have a much accurate representation of the sound sample than using a range from zero to nine here. This is known as sampling resolution, also known as bit depth. Okay. Now, sampling rate is the number of sound samples taken per second. The higher the sampling rate or sampling resolution, the greater the file size, obviously. Uh, for example, a 16-bit sampling resolution is used when recording CDs to give uh, better sound quality. The thing is that when Sony introduced uh, CD players back in 1981, the word size of the computer was 16-bit. Computer was unable to record more than uh, 16 bits in a go. Means a sample cannot be, cannot used to be recorded for more than uh, 16 bits. 16 bits means uh, two bytes. So now the thing is, uh, um, and the speed at which it was recording, sampling resolution, that was also dependent over the speed of processor. Processor cannot go beyond um, a particular speed. So that was 44,100 samples per second. Although that was the maximum speed the computer could achieve in 1981 and computer was recording one uh, sample um, for let's say 16 bit, it was the maximum that uh, computer could do at that time, but that has become the standard all over the world uh, for the reason that uh, any, any audible sound uh, or the concert, maybe a song can be recorded with 16 bit uh, sample um, with depth sample resolution and uh, 44,100 samples um, sampling rate. So how is uh, sampling used to record a sound clip? Uh, the amplitude of the sound wave, the amplitude of the sound wave uh, is first determined at set intervals. Uh, the sampling rate. This gives the uh, this gives an um, approximation representation of the sound wave. The sound wave is then encoded as a series of binary digits. Using a higher uh, sampling rate or a larger resolution will result in more faithful representation of uh, uh, the original sound source. Now. Uh, 
recorded sound is often edited using the software. So the last thing is this. Show understanding of how typical features found in sound editing software are used in practice. So um, it's not as in that you have to download uh, Audacity or some other software or have to do something, but it's just, uh, you should have knowledge that there are uh, softwares which uh, are used to edit sound and all and what are the features available in those softwares. Other than that, no practical um, knowledge is required. So anyways, uh, what it says, uh, recorded sound is often edited uh, using obviously uh, software, common features of uh, such software include the ability to edit and start, stop, times, um, and duration of a sample. Um, it is all given in notes. If you expect to see these notes from website or the app, you would see all this written there. So uh, another feature is extract and save or delete part of the sample, alter the frequency and amplitude of a sample, uh, fade in and fade out, obviously, mix or merge multiple soundtracks, combine various sound sources together and alter their properties. Uh, sometimes there is noise, so you may remove the noise and all. Or uh, the last thing is uh, you can uh, convert between different uh, uh, sound formats. So. The last thing is uh, how to calculate the file size of a sound sample, I mean the clip. So filing is uh, sound file sizing. Sound file sizing is equal to samples per second, which is called sampling rate multiply by sample resolution and multiply by time and time must be in seconds so let's say So what's that? Sound file size is captured in bits, obviously, because bit depth or resolution is always in bits, is equal to Sampling resolution, which means how many bits are there in one sample, multiply by sampling rate, multiply by time, and time should be in seconds. So whenever you would do that, you will find bits, then you would have to uh, divide bits by bytes in order to get the number of bytes and then divide them by 1024 so th so that you could get uh, kilobytes and sometimes if they ask for answer in um, megabytes then you would have to divide that by another 1024. Remember not to use the factor of 1000 and secondly you need to remember this formula uh, values will be given in questions so let's um, check few of the questions from the past papers and assignments. Sound, this is uh, May, June um, 2015 P11, P12. Sound can be represented in a computer in a digital format. Give the definition of term sampling, that is recording samples per second, recording of samples. 
give one reason why 16 bit sampling is used in audio compact CD. I told you that 16 bit is good enough to record any sound that humans can hear but the thing is that when it was invented it was the maximum that a computer could record because the word size or the number of bits inside one register were 16 max uh, explain what is meant by the term sampling resolution the amount of uh, bits the number of bits saved per sample is called sampling resolution give one benefit and drawback of using higher sampling resolution higher sampling resolution obviously will give a better quality file and drawback is that uh, the file size will be increased and it will take more time to get transferred over internet uh, describe two typical features found in the software for editing sound files. I told you that you might try to uh, edit uh, the start stop times and duration of the samples, extract and save part of the samples, uh, combine various sounds together, convert between different sound formats and all. All right, sound uh, can be represented uh, digitally in a computer. Explain the term sampling resolution and sampling rate. We have done it. The following information refers to a music uh, track being recorded on a CD. Uh, music is sampled 44,100 times per second. Each sample is 16 bits. Each track requires sampling for left and right speakers, means uh, uh, we would have to multiply it by two. Calculate the number of bytes required to store one second uh, of sampling sampled music. Um, show your working. So you would have to um, multiply forty four thousand one hundred by sixteen. Um, that will be the number of bits. And then you will have to multiply that by two. And then you will get enough number of bits for left and right speakers in one second. And then you would have to divide it by eight. So let's do it. So we have uh, 44,100 samples per second. Each sample is of 16 bits. So this is one um, second uh, recording in bits. We have to divide it by eight and then it has become 88,200 bytes per second are being recorded and then we have uh, left and right speakers so we would have to multiply it by two so this would become 176,400 uh, bytes for one second recording calculate the number of bytes required to store uh, one second of sampled music so this is what it is and remember that you would uh, uh, you will not be allowed to carry a calculator with you in exam. A particular uh, track is uh, four minutes long. Describe how would you calculate the number of megabytes used to store this track? How would you calculate the number of megabytes? Um, so this is a one second sound. Let's uh, in bytes, let's divide it by 1024. This is kilobytes and then uh, divided by 1024 this is uh, megabytes now these are 1.6 um, 1.7 megabytes let's say uh, this is uh, a per second uh, recording so if it is four minute long we would have to multiply by uh, 60 to make it uh, one minute and then multiply by four to make it uh, four minutes. So this would be approximately 40.1 megabytes um, for four minutes that we have to store in order to store four minutes long sound. When storing music tracks in a computer, the MP3, achha, this is not regarded uh, regarding this. This is for compression. 
So that's about it. Let's see one of the assignment. Table below shows four stages in converting sound into digital form. Show the correct order for the stages by labeling them with the number one to four. So first says that binary representation of level stored microphone picks up sound uh, waves value read at specific points and rounded to a level and converted to to an electrical analog signal. So microphone picks up the sound which is converted to electrical analog signals mm, uh, value at a specific point run, rounded to a level and binary representation of level stored. So this is how you would have to do it. These assignments are found uh, through websites in chapter 1.1.3 or in app, you can find it. And then a performance by a music band is to be recorded and distributed on CD figure below show shows three samples stored in computer's memory that have been taken from an analog signal as part of the recording process. A sampling rate of 44,000 Hertz has been used one Hertz in one sample per second. So these are three samples. So this is one sample. Here, this is one sample, this is second, this is third. So you can see these are 16 bits, 448, 412, and 416. Um, so now let's look at these questions. What sampling resolution has been used? 16 bits. If the original analog signal lasts 100 seconds, how many bytes of storage will be required to store samples taken? in the recording process. So this is one second, three bytes, one second. So you have to multiply it by 100. So there would be 300 uh, bytes. The average human can hear frequencies up to 20,000 Hertz. Explain why a sampling rate of 44,000 has been chosen for the recording. First of all, I told you that every sound that human can hear can be recorded in 44,000 Hertz and with 16 bits of sampling resolution. So 20,000 Hertz of the frequencies can easily be recorded in 44,000 Hertz of sampling and with 16 bits. So that's about it, sound. I'll come with the, the next uh, topic, video and compression techniques later. So stay tuned. So thank you very much and bye for the day. Take care.